Hello, my name is Judah Ginsberg and I'm in San Francisco and I'm pleased to welcome you to the final uh, press briefing for today uh, from the 239th National Meeting of the American Chemical Society. We are joined today at uh, this briefing by Dr. Albin Chernahowski of Glidarc Te Technologies ECP in La Ferte, saint aubin France. But first, a few ground rules before I ask Dr. Chernowski to talk about his research. Would everybody in this room please silence your mobile devices and please, when asking a question, give your name and affiliation and use the microphone that we will supply. In addition to reporters who are joining us in this room, we, are, we will be joined by reporters online via our Ustream channel and they may ask questions as well. Also watching are ACS science writers who, are, who will ask questions from time to time, but we will defer to an accredited news media first. For news media and bloggers online, we encourage you to embed or link to our video. An archive of this session will be available as soon as the briefing is over, and it can be found on our Ustream page, the URL for which is www.ustream.tv slash channel slash ACS Live. Well, with all that out of the way, Dr. Chernohowski, will you give us a brief overview of your research, and then we will open it up for, brief, for questions. Uh, thank you. I'm a chemist and I'm a physicist. Uh, I'm also a musician. Uh, it happens that in uh, orchestral music, uh, there are uh, several voices, several tracks of um, music that are put together and then makes a la nice uh, symphony. The same happened in uh, techno uh, uh, chemical technology. Uh, since more than 100 years, people are looking for discharge, electrical discharge, plasma research. People are looking for gasification. People are looking for chemical synthesis. And uh, nowadays we have the problems with the energy, with the clean energy, and uh, what to do with the trash. So an idea that uh, comes uh, is to convert the trash to fuel. The trash is just everything that you can see in a garbage. It's a municipal waste, it's a landfill, and what we need, we need the transportation fuel and independence for country having uh, uh, too much pressure on, uh, on oil. So, uh, putting together all this idea, and it happened that I am quite old already, and um, my history of scenes are quite long. So I put together some things I met in my life, in my life uh, of university professor, first in Poland, then in, uh, in, uh, in France, first in chemistry, then in physics. So, uh, developing the very simple plasma source, which is uh, low tech, low price, low cost, and uh, chemical synthesis of um, coming from gasification, cleaning of synthesis gas, we can arrive to the same uh, to uh, simplification of uh, very nice simplification of uh, technology and just convert the trash to liquid. What happened is uh, in a laboratory scale or in a quite uh, large uh, setup out of the building, but not yet in an industrial scale. But we have, as a small company, we have a partner in Sweden in Poland, in the United States, and we are progressing to do this uh, uh, technology uh, uh, ready to uh, be uh, applied in a few, few years. As uh, details of the technology, I present my poster uh, tomorrow at 8 o'clock p.m and the uh, speech at uh, 8.50 uh, tomorrow morning. So, uh, the block of this technology to finish is uh, 
gasification of trash, then cleaning of the gas from the trash, very dirty gas, then taking a clean synthesis gas, compressing it, and using the uh, fischer tropsch technology, 100 years old technology that gives a, a transportation fuel that can be probably distillated, probably uh, a little bit uh, nobilized, uh, and then uh, we, uh, we can run the car on this fuel, waiting for next better solution of energy in the uh, next uh, years or next, next decades. So if you have uh, any question, please. Any questions? Uh, Aaron Rowe, I believe, has a question. Hi, so I'm Aaron Rowe from Wired. Do, so are you using the same sort of plasma discharge that's found in a plasma television to gasify trash? No. Uh, the plasma is the fourth state of matter. It's something that is ionized gas mm -hmm. that is uh, used in a microcells uh, in a TV screen, mm -hmm. in one million of microcells. The same plasma, but in a, between the two, three, or six electrodes, and the high voltage like in a, uh, the uh, TV uh, screen, mm -hmm. uh, are mm, ignited in a flowing gas. So uh, this is one million part of the TV screen, but the property of physical property are the same. Mm -hmm. This is a non-equilibrium, highly exciting uh, medium that can accelerate any chemical reactions. Okay, and so which reactions are you using the plasma to accelerate to, re to take trash and turn it to fuel? Yeah, first, we cannot ignite such a plasma in a mixture of everything that you can find uh, in trash. First, we need to uh, remove uh, minerals, metals, by simple gasification. And okay. the gasification technology is a very simple gasification uh, starting uh, 2000, uh, 200 years ago uh, with a coal gasification, with a coal gas plant. And by gasification, we can just remove all organic carbon mm -hmm. from any, any feed. And then once we have a hot gas or hot vapor, then we cross this vapor mixed with a, a bit of oxygen and produce a mixture of hydrogen and CO. This hydrogen and CO which is just building blocks of further fuels mm -hmm. on the liquid state, while the oh. CO and H2 is in a gas phase. Okay, thank you very much. Any other questions? We have a question online. Uh, this is a question from uh, Mark Sampson of the American Chemical Society. Uh, he asks, how much will a gallon of this ultra-clean clean fuel cost compared to its conventional counterpart? Yeah, this is, uh, of course, uh, we, uh, a very nice question. We uh, can only estimate the price. First, uh, uh, letting uh, to understand uh, and uh, underline that Having the garbage, you need to pay already to dispose this garbage. But if you accept this garbage, you just have money. Then gasification is very simple. To uh, compare with our calculation on the uh, very dirty and poor coal, because it can apply also to coal, one gallon of gasoline final should uh, cost less than 50 cents. Uh, Dr. Chernohelsky, would there be any benefit in using, and Mike Woods from ACS Service, would there be any benefit in using this process on the gas that is produced by gas, from gasifying coal or gasifying lignite? Yeah, of course. This is a other application which we are working on. Uh, very poor coal, uh, gasified simply to very uh, Tar, very high tar containing gas without any uh, cleaning, crossing our glider discharge become 
uh, becomes uh, a clean synthesis gas and then the rest of technology is the same. It, it would produce a cleaner synthesis gas? Yeah, of course, because uh, in a uh, Glidark technology that can, uh, the gliding discharges that can be developed in a, directly in a gas have a, this particularity that can uh, crack the tars and other molecules so that uh, we have a more synthesis gas and without any tars, any molecules. We add also a separate technology which is called the sulfur which is uh, removal of sulfur that is always contained in a, in a, uh, in a coal, in the, uh, also in trash. And uh, with this sulfur, we convert the sulfur to elementary sulfur, which is not toxic, and we recover hydrogen from hydrogen sulfide that is a product of gasification. One more question. In your response to the previous question, did I hear you correctly that with this process you could produce diesel fuel that is 10 times cleaner than traditional fuel and yet costs yeah. 30 times less? Yeah, it's exact. Uh, our uh, synthetic diesel is not a product of cracking of uh, conventional uh, residue of oil, petroleum oil. So. Our diesel does not contain any toluene, benzene, or xylene, which is beta X, very cancerogenic substances. Our diesel oil or gasoline oil is close to the fat that we eat, and we have already the, uh, uh, the research result that show that they, this product is absolutely non-toxic. And uh, we probably will also uh, uh, adding that uh, that this product is not only non-toxic but is also green, completely green from biomass. So this is also renewable. Could you cook with it? Uh, how to conclude? <laughs> Uh, we hope uh, we hope in the near future to have a demonstration plant in Florida and uh, using uh, Florida uh, trash uh, and uh, converting this uh, using some uh, very old uh, Indian uh, gasification technology into uh, synthesis gas and then building our own Fischer-Tropsch reactors and providing my catalyst, iron catalyst, uh, to Florida to show first barrels per day of uh, this product. Aaron, do you have a question? Oh, no, that's good. Anybody else? Any other questions? Uh, well, then in that case, that wraps it up for us today at the first day of the 239th meeting of the American Chemical Society here in San Francisco. We'll be back tomorrow morning uh, on Monday, March 22nd at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time. That's 12.30 Eastern time for our first, brief, first press briefing uh, on that occasion. Um, it will be on, a, um, on research on evidence that shows that walnuts may help fight prostate cancer. So we'll see you then.